All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakafu Dach. Double honor to the elders and our apostles to Great Millstone, taught us this truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Yahweh, who the world only calls God, Bahashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ and Jehovah, the Rakafu Dach, which is the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Iwa Lummy from the gym at Chicago, branch out here in Chicago, come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope this lesson be edifying to whoever may reach. You know, I'm just basically entitled to this lesson. You know, fear not. You have about Shemi Al Shai's on our side. You know, what gave me the inspiration, you know, to do this video, you know, because a couple of days ago, I think it's like a week ago at this point, you know, I was reading the account of uh, First Samuel, you know, when, uh, you know, when David, you know, was basically going against Goliath and David slew Goliath, you know, and how, you know, he basically didn't show no fear because what? I'm going to just get into it. You know, how the rest of Israel, you know, were afraid, but David, you know, King David, you know, was uh was not afraid, you know. So I'm gonna just jump right into it. This is the book of first Samuel seventeen and four uh seventeen and forty two because well ultimately what well, how about Shimei Al Shah was on his side, the most high was on his side. So this is the book of first Samuel seventeen and forty two. It says that when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and a ruddy and a fair uh, countenance. And right, and Goliath was known as the uh the, you know the 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 champion, you know. You know, the biggest among the Philistines, you know, and that all of Israel, you know, when they saw Goliath, they were afraid, you know, but David wasn't. But uh, let's continue. And, uh, you know, Goliath looked down on David because, as I said, what I read back in 42, he was but a youth. You know, he was he was much smaller than Goliath. But let's continue. First Samuel 17 and 43. It says, And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. <laughs> Verse 44 says, And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. It says, verse 45, verse 45, it says, Then said David to the Philistines, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a, and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the, uh, the power of the armies of Israel, who thou hast defiled, whom, yeah, whom thou hast defiled. Right, so you know, even though the you know Goliath had you know uh, which much bigger than David, and, you know things like that. David, you know, as he says right here, huh? he says, "But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the power of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast the foul." Right, because if we ultimately have that, you know, that that faith and that belief in Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua, there is nothing you know to you know to have fear in. You know, you know, the only per you know the only you know entity that we fear is Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua. You know, we're not supposed to fear. You know. These other nations and things like, you know, like that, you know, because what well, we have the true ultimate power on our side, which is your how about Shimei Al Shai, you know, and David, you know, demonstrate, uh, demonstrated that he said what? But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. Right. And we have to we have to have that same mentality, you know, speaking to myself first and foremost. But we have we all need to have that mentality, you know, not to show fear in the face of our enemies, you know, because what well, fear is ultimately a killer, because when you let fear overtake you. You know, it's you know it's the beginning of the end the beginning of the end of your downfall, you know. Verse forty six says, "This day will uh, the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the hosts of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a power in Israel." Right, and what ultimately end up happening? You know, uh, David threw a smooth stone at Goliath, and then ultimately, what? He cut his head off with his own sword, you know? But ultimately, you know, uh, we ain't supposed to fear because what? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is ultimately in control, you know? You can read the rest of the account, but I just wanted to get that how, you know, David, you know, basically stood tall in the face of his enemies because what? He said what? He had the name of the Lord of hosts on his side. But let's continue. Uh, let me get this first. Let me get, uh, Joshua. This is going to be a fairly quick lesson. I'm going to leave out for camp in a second, but this is the book of Joshua 1 and 9. It says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy power is with thee, whithsoever thou goest. Right. The Lord said, what? What? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. You know, because what? You know, as the scriptures say, you know, uh, if thou, if thou faint in a, uh, and, and I believe how it's quoted, but if thou faint in the day of adversity, you know, thy strength is small, you know, loosely paraphrasing. You know, we're not supposed to give ourselves over to fear. 
you know? Because like I said, once you, you know, succumb to that fear, it's the beginning to end of your downfall, you know? You have to understand that your how about shimmy out shines in control of all things, you know? As the scriptures say, what's that, uh, the Lord directs, you know, uh, the man's foot, uh, footsteps, you know, loosely paraphrasing, you know? This is all in the Lord's control, you know? There's nothing to fear. It says, be strong, you'll be of good courage, and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest, right? Wherever we go, you know, wherever we go, you know, what this is, you know, going to face and face to your enemies, you know, on a job, you know, in the face of this evil world, you know, the Lord is with us, you know, there is nothing to fear, you know, we're in the Lord's hand, the Lord is going to keep us protected, and you have to believe that though, you know? That's when that faith come uh, comes in. Also, you have to, you know, you have to have that faith that you have about Shimei Al I got you. If you don't have that faith and you fear, the Lord is not going to protect somebody like that. This is the book of Isaiah forty one to ten. It says, "Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will hold thee with the right hand of my righteousness." Right. Ultimately, meaning what? Yeah. How about Shimei Al Shai got us? You know. There is nothing, you know, to be afraid of at the end of the day. You know, just going back to the account with David, you know, you know how David stood tall. You know, David, he what he said, what he said, he come with the, uh, he comes with the, you know, the name of the Lord of hosts. You know, that's all we need at the end of the day. And then the Lord will take care of everything else. You know, it says, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. Right. With the Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, everything is possible. You have to. You know, you have to believe that. You know, you have to have faith in that. You know, it says, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right. Even going back to Psalms 91, you know, we're not, we're going to be protected. But like I said, once again, you all, you ultimately have to believe that, you know. Let's get this. Uh, Satan. This is 2 Kings 6 and uh, 16. It says, he answered, uh, it says, and he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Right. It's more, you know, it's more, you know, on our side than with, you know, with our enemies. You know, we have the angels covering us. You know, how about Shimei Al Shai, you know, sends the angels around his hopeful righteous elect. So we have nothing to fear. You know, the Lord got our back at the end of the day. You know, so like I was mentioning before, you know, we can't give ourselves over to fear. It says, verse 17, it says, And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Right, you know, the Lord and his angels got us covered at the end of the day. You know, let me get one more, actually. You know, I got to head out in a second, but uh, one more. I'm going to close out with this one. Because you ultimately you have to believe that the Lord is on your side in a time that's to come. And you know, we can't feel. It's the book of Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, So shall that fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall live up to stand against him. And you have to believe in that time that's to come, which we're in that time right now. You have to believe that the Lord is going to fight for you. You know, you have to believe that you can't feel. It's like I said before, the Lord is not just going to protect anybody, you know. You know, the ones that's fearing, the ones that's doubting, the Lord is not going to protect them. But ultimately, you have to believe and don't fear, you know, that Yahweh yeah, Shemiah Al Shai got you. So with that being said, I hope this lesson was edifying, you know, to the you know, to the point. You know, I just want to, you know, just, you know, to get that, you know, this lesson out there, you know, something that I read, you know, like a week ago. The Lord put the spirit on me to do the lesson now, but yeah, it reminded me, you know, uh, you know, even the times to come, you know, not to fear, you know, what's about to happen. Because you have about Shemiah Shai got us. So, Lord, one, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to end up by giving all praise on the glory to you. How about Shemiah Shai, by Shem Rakapo Dash, double honest to the elders and the apostles of great mills. Don't tell us this truth. And also, the hopefully, uh, hopefully, like that's around the four corners of the, uh, of the globe. Lord, one, I hope this is edifying. Until next time, wah, ba, ba, ba.